Now you are entered into the second term of your ninth standard. And in this second term, we are going to start with our chapter seven, diversity in living organism. Again, which is a part of the biology for your science subject. In this chapter, we are going to see the diversity in living organism. Before starting the chapter, let us understand the meaning of the word diversity. And what do you mean by the diversity? Diversity means the variations. Now, what kind of the variations we are able to see in, in the living organisms? Now, if we see on the other, there is a lot and lot of kind of living organisms present, from a bacteria till to the largest tree. Bacteria are the organisms which we are the one of the smallest organisms you can say present on the earth which we are unable to see with our naked eye. For which we need a microscope to see. But there are a few plants species, or uh, even type of plants, are present on the earth. To means those plants are a hundred meter tall. So you go around the entire planet, you can see them. So you can say like that there are the organisms which are so small that you can't see them very easily, and there are the other organisms which are so big which you can see few kilometers away. This was about the you can say size or the height. Another example for that you can say uh, about the lifespan. Lifespan is how much time they live. There are a few insects which uh, have the lifespan of the few days. As those insects are there, they have lifespan of just a few days. They live for a few days, then they die. But on the other hand, there are the few trees which live for the thousands and thousands of the years. So you can see the difference between the lifespan. Then again, now we can see that there are the things which are having the very less to no color. Yes, transplant organisms are also present on the earth. There are few frog species which are completely transplant, which you can see the inner organs of them with your normal eyes. But on the other hand, there are the most colorful species also present in the earth, like you know the butterflies. So these are the diversity which is present in living organisms. To understand the diversity, to understand each and every organism, so we have uh, divided them into particular groups, particular uh, classification we have done. So, with the help of the scientists like Abitiva, which has given the five kingdom classification, one of the most important classification for uh, human history. Those five kingdom was Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animal. Again, I am reading Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae, and Animal. These are the five inner classification. But as you know, in our course, only nine point four and nine point five is present. We are going to start with the fourth kingdom, which is Plantae. So we are going to start with the plants. So plants are having the five divisions. Present in them, so kingdom plantae are having the five regions in them. In that five regions, we are going to see which kind of plants are present, which are having a special characteristic in that particular group. So the first classification, the first classification is the thylakoida. The first. Now, why thylakoida is known as the first plants? Because they are the plants, but they are not having any kind of proper roots. Shoots, flowers, they are also not having any kind of vascular bundles. Because of all of these things, we are considering the thylakoida as the most basic plant present on the earth which we know. Another thing, they are mostly dominant in their aquatic life. मतलब उनकी पूरी life water में रहती है. It can be marine, it can be fresh water, but they are predominantly in the aquatic life. The second division in the plant is the bryophyta. Bryophyta is also known as an amphibian for the plant. Now, why bryophyta is known as an amphibian? As we know, amphibian means things which live on the water as well as on the land. So we can say the bryophyta are the kind of the plants which brings plant from sea to the land. So bryophyta ne plants ko sea me se land me laane mein madad kiya. This is the second classification in the kingdom Plantae. Bryophyta was having the roots, shoots like structure or leaves like structure present in them. 
अभी प्रॉपर रूप से शूट डेवलप नहीं हुए थे बट उनकी तरह कुछ स्ट्रक्चर था अनदर थिंग द एबसेंस ऑफ द वस्कुलर बंडल वाज अ मेजर फॉर द ब्रायर फैक्टर अब ब्रायर फैक्टर के तो वस्कुलर बंडल्स नहीं थे और व्हाट आर द वस्कुलर बंडल्स एज वी हैव लर्न इन आवर चैप्टर 6 टू शो वस्कुलर बंडल्स आर द जाइलम एंड फ्लोएम दिस ट्रांसपोर्ट वाटर एंड फूड व्हिच वाज एबसेंट इन द ब्रायर फाइटर नाउ देयर इज द थर्ड रूप व्हिच इज टेरिडोफाइट टेडोफाइटा इज थर्ड रूप फॉर द प्लास एंड मेजर थिंग इन द टेडोफाइटा वाज द वस्कुलर बंडल्स नाउ टेडोफाइटा हैव द प्रॉपर रूट्स प्रॉपर शूट्स दे आर हैविंग फ्लावर्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड एवरीथिंग इज प्रेजेंट इन द टेडोफाइटा बट न्यू थिंग्स व्हिच वी गॉट इन द टेडोफाइटा इज द वस्कुलर बंडल्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट दे कैन इजीली गो इन द हाइट because vascular bundles are there so they can transport water and worm much easier from roots to the leaves so tetraphyta aap aisa bol sakte hain was a starting to the growth of the plant in a high way so high tetraphyta se easily grow hona aapko mila now tetraphyta got two more division inside itself according to the reproductive organs now sometimes plants don't show their reproductive organs very easily So reproductive organs are hidden in the plants. Then they are known as cryptoplasts. Cryptoplasts are the uh, kind of plants which hide their reproductive organs. Now opposite to them, there is a phanerogra which having exposed reproductive organs. They show reproductive organs very easily. That's about the kind of phyta. Now we are going to continue with our next thing, which is Division basis of the seeds. There are the two division basis of the seeds. One is angiosperm and another is the gymnosperm. The fourth one is the gymnosperm. Now gymnosperm is gymnosperm is naked, sperm is seed. Gymnosperm was having all the things present in the tetraphyta, but especially they were having the seeds also. They were having roots. They were having shoots. Then they were having the proper kind of all the divisions. The only thing which is missing in them is the cover which is present has to be present in the seeds. So the only problem with them is that they are not having the seed cover. Now for that we are having the last division present in the plant which is angiosperm. Angiosperm, angiosperm is the cover, and sperm is the seeds. So angiosperm is having the covering seeds. So this is the thing. Angiosperm is having the covering seeds. Now on the seeds we are again having the more division. In the seeds they were having the proper food-like structure present for the plants to grow easily. Now those structures are known as cotyledons. Now basis on that particular cotyledon, plants are uh, that angiosperm are again divided into two. That is monocot and dicot. Monocot means the single cotyledon is present in them, and the dicot is Uh, two cotyledons are present in them. Another thing to know about angiosperms, they are also known as the flowering plants. They also produce the flowers. Means if flowers are present in them, they can fertilize those flowers to produce fruits. So fruits can be produced in the angiosperm because they are having the flowers. So that's which we are seeing about the plantic kingdom and from the spike kingdom. So let us revise what we have seen till now. In a very short way, we have started with the five kingdoms given by the Vitega, uh, which was Monera, Protista, Fungi, then Animula, uh, then Plantae and Animula. These are the five kingdoms. The so fourth kingdom are the Plantae or the plants in which we see the five divisions. The first, the most basic kind of plants which are present on the earth, which we know, are the Thylophyta, which was having nothing, but they are only having the predominant aquatic life. There was not even a proper kind of the differentiation between them. Differentiation का मतलब ये क्या कि उनके ना root roots properly divided नहीं थे. After that, because of the differentiation, we got the second uh, kind of plant which are the Brachyda, also known as Antinium. The only basic thing in them is the vascular bundles. So because of that, we got the Tetraphyta in which vascular bundles was present. Now because of the vascular bundles, they were having the two more divisions which were hidden and uh, show or uh, exposed reproductive organs. Hidden reproductive organs are known as cryptoplasts, and the short reproductive organs are known as phanerogams. These are the other tetraphyta. The last division, that is on the basis of the seeds, which we have seen, is the angiosperm and the gymnosperm. 
gymnosperms are in the decay seed and gymnosperms are in the covering seed they were also known as a flowering plant they were also having the fruits and because of this uh, the proper covering of the seeds they were having the two kinds of cotyledons present in them one a single cotyledon is present then they are known as monocot two cotyledons are present then they are known as a dicot that's it for today's video now regarding this video i am going to send you a pdf or a worksheet which you are supposed to write in your uh, class notebook and if you have any doubt regarding this video you can ask me in my online sessions